Bell, hello there, human to be earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it to. I'm Bushka, and this is Rojok Rampage. We had a great game, we had a lot of fun, and really kicked off. Things went all over the place uh, here at school. Lots of people dropping school, and the point of the game, though, is it's something that I'm going to be featuring and theming on this week. Uh, that is aggressive play. I am really aggressive in PUBG Mobile. Like... I'm just really bloody aggressive, and it's lucky because one of the things I do is I hunt for content. So I drop aggressive areas. I play in the frame of mind that I want to get 15, 16 kills every opportunity. If I'm winning a chicken dinner, I want to do it with at least 10 kills on the board. If I'm not, then it's kind of wasting everyone's time because no one wants to watch a game. Anyone can drop, run to the middle of the circle, and lie down in the grass. And you're going to be a fair chance of getting to the top 10. And that's fair and that's valid. And if you are playing competitively or playing for rating and you really want to grind out Conqueror or Ace, then go for that. Um, I mean, this is just stupidly aggressive on my part. I mean, that is taking on a UMP in a 1911 and a level one vest. That's just idiotic. Uh, so there is obviously a limit to aggressive play, but you probably won't see it in this video. Um, and I hope you enjoy it because there's going to be a lot of it going on this week. I don't know if you saw the video I had yesterday where I um, cleared two squads of three just near Gatka. Uh, but it makes for some really good clips, and it makes for an exhilarating sense of gameplay and dynamic uh, activity when you finish it off. Uh, when, when things go your way, wow, it looks amazing. So I know there's someone inside here, and you're going to see every time I find a target, I push it. It's just find the target, push it, find the target, push it, find the target, push it. And one of the big things that this does is if you're in a squad play, um, you're almost like the battering ram of the squad. And especially if you're playing with a lot of guys that like to be maybe a little more passive and um, and spend a lot of time, you know, sniping and such, it can drag the squad forward and move the map really successfully. Uh, you're going to see we come out to Rojok. Now, I don't show bot kills generally uh, unless they are uh, germane to the nature of the video. And that's exactly what this bloody bot is. Because you're going to see him pop on the left as a bot. Now, there's a lot of YouTubers out there who do show bot kills and like to pretend that they're real people and say, oh, have a taste of that. You can't handle the Mini-14, Alejo 97. But the reason I'm showing that is because there's a guy right here that we're moving on. Now, there's a, a bit of a fight going on between this bloke and the guys in the hill above Rojok. Gotta love a Mini-14, by the way. Have a look at that complete lack of recoil. Uh, and... When you see bots like that, it is so frustrating. And we all do it if you've been playing for any length of time where you use the bot to actually be like a radar, be like an early warning system. So you see a bot, it's like 100 meters away, but you don't touch it because you know if someone comes along in your direction, say from school like that, the bot will shoot and you will freaking hear the sounds of the incoming fire. And it's like, oh man, come on, really? But, you know, that's bots. So try and use your bots proactively. The other thing is, always look after your bots. If you don't have a good vest, hit the bot in the legs. If you don't have a good helmet, hit the bot in the chest. Look after your bots, and your bots will look after you. <laughs> that's that's a, a community service announcement from Botissimo. Uh, so the guy that hit me earlier, you probably saw me just before I was reviving Mark there. He's somewhere over there. We've, we've got him, and we do do this for quite some time, but I'm going to cut a lot of the uh, the junk footage out. We tag that bloke and then he goes away and he heals up and then he comes back out and we tag him again and he goes away and heals up and we tag him again. And what I end up deciding to do is just push on him. So Positive and Mark go overlook for me. They are still up on that ridge line there. This is the only guy that we were engaging when I started pushing. And of course, as soon as I started pushing, a whole new gunfight erupted to the north of us on the hill overlooking Rojok. So I knew... I either had to clear this guy or wait for Positive and Mark to get down, but they really got caught in a rough spot. And it's probably my fault. Um, but I know he's in this house. Uh, the guys have told me where he is. So I cook the Gren until he gets overlook, and then I pull back, and he's more concerned with getting shots on me. And I move back up, and the Gren absolutely stone cold nails him. Excellent stuff there. Lovely little bit of cooking there on the pineapple. Bit of a pineapple in the oven, boys and girls. Get the extended mag for the UMP. Now, the UMP is not the gun that I'd really like at this point in time. The UMP is a great gun for up close and personal. 
it suffers tremendously in that if you're running a car 98 with a UMP, and I pulled the car 98 off that guy I killed just after killing the bot, by the way. If you're running the UMP with a car 98, now we've, we've lost Mark, unfortunately. He got nailed from the other side. Positive is pushing down. Mark was pushing down and he got done. Um, you don't have any mid-range. And it's, I mean, if I had an AR in this situation, like an M16A4 or an M416, uh, even an AKM, I, I'd be much happier. And you're gonna see, I do eventually get great shots on this guy, but uh, he hits me and look, the nine millimeters great and all, and it's brilliant up close and personal but it really isn't the, the choice of weapon. And there is a video I'm doing, it's about weapon loadouts and what's good and why it's good. And the main thing is you really, in most situations, need to run some kind of 5.56 weapon to promote diversity in your close quarters, mid range and long range. But you come up against all kinds of problems with your weapon choices. And you're gonna see that come into, and factor in in a little bit uh, in the gameplay. Uh, I. There's this crazy thing for me. I have a love-hate relationship with the AKM. I love it. It's amazing. But at the same time, I really hate it because when I try and get a weapon loadout like an M416 uh, and a K98 that, that works on a lot of different levels um, and I push into a close quarters encounter and the guy has an AKM, you do the right thing. You win the initial contact. And the AKM just freaking pulverizes. If you don't have a fresh vest and a fresh helmet and you go in to a 7.62 uh, slinging match with a 5.56 round, you can be deleted awfully quick. And you're going to see what I mean in just a short while. Now, before we get to that, though, we get pushed on again from the same direction as the duo that we just took out then. Uh, there's another squad has arrived on the scene. So Rojok is really providing a lot of sustenance for the kill count at the moment. We've got 12 kills. There's only nine left alive, but we've got down to half squad. We pull out the car 98, and you're going to see, make some lovely 98 shots here and miss a couple of absolute sitters. It's pretty funny how the 98 works. Sometimes you can't miss. Other times you're uh, red hot and, and, and bothered. But you can see here I've got Overlook, and I'm using this top area of the hill and the eight times scope. There we go. I don't know what he is doing. Like, he's just literally slide showing down the hill. And then, oh, I don't know if people do that intentionally. It feels intentional. It feels ridiculous. We hammer him with a headshot, but he's got a level three helmet. We hit him on the strafe there. Uh, and then his mate's down there. He jumps out the window just as we tag it. Still looking for targets. There are multiples down there. So I just back off, get myself a little bit further behind that and look for a better shot. Get another headshot in on there. Another level three helmet wearing dude. So that's two headshots for no knocks. Feels really, really rough to be fair. Uh, still going for targets, still going for targets. There's another one, just a limb shot there. Just tagged the arm, I think, as he pulled back behind. I'd already hit him in the helmet once. Positive takes an absolute flogging there and backs off to uh, revive. Down to half health very quickly and makes a good call to disengage. Uh, not having a car 98 there is, it's a bit of a godsend if you get, tag him again. So that's a headshot and a limb shot for each of these grubs. Another limb shot, uh, maybe a body shot. We take out Salim Pei, uh, still working on this. The zone line pushes in and it moves them forward from the house behind, but it does not get rid of that house ahead. So there's three, possibly four there. We don't know at the moment. I've seen two guys that look very similar. Oh, there's a third running in. Uh, that Gren was never going to get there. Just more uh, more nuisance value, Gren, that one. Not doing anything to anyone. This is going to be a better Gren. If we can just land it in one of these windows. Great stuff. That should move them to the back here. No. Uh, there we go. Someone running away. And this is... I mean, the UMP struggle. They're positive. Absolutely nails him. The UMP just struggles. There he is. There's a second. We've got one down. Second down, is the third man still standing in here? Let's have a look. Is he behind door number one? Oh, he sure is. Pro, pro lean, pro lean. Oh, unfortunate. And that's it. I think we've cleared the lot. Yes, we do. We've cleared the lot. So we're going to break to the end, and we've been very aggressive all game. I know there's a guy on this rooftop, right? He's, this is what I'm talking about. 
the AKM versus an M416. So we get the first hit. Look at that AK, it's unbelievable. In close quarters, oh my, he had nothing left, but my God, and Positive does a great job there. Comes in screaming and cleans up the scraps, comes around the corner and revives me. Um, wow, I just, I've showed a few videos of that happening to me where I am pumping people with an M416 and the AKM just says, nah, get rebalanced. Um, but you're also gonna see, this is pretty funky here. So I peek, right? I peek around this corner to get a shot with a car 98. I, I'm looking around trying to figure out, well, gee, girl, children, avert your eyes. Jeez, the models on those Playboy bunny suits. No, thank you very much. Uh, and I nail this guy. But I've got a car 98. Uh, he does an AWM. So I hit him first. But man, I got a level three helmet on. I got a level three helmet. I'm safe here. I can poke. Uh, only reason I can't poke is if he's got an AWM. Oh, guess who's got an AWM? <laughs> yeah, so uh, I got him. And uh, he got me. But he had a much bigger gun. <laughs> now, this is pretty funny. Because James is like, oh, yeah, no, no, just stay there, man. I'll get you up again. This is just, uh, I'll get you up again. No worries. You just stay there. I'll get you up again. Great team play here by Positive. Um, well work. Well done, amigo. Mark, well done. Bad luck, Amo. The next game we played, TB Ammo got the MVP and top scored. Uh, so don't feel bad Bad for TB. He's a very, uh, Ammo, he's a very good player and a great, great bloke. Uh, we're pushing now towards the end. And as I said, we've been aggressive. There are three humans left. And they're in squad, and they're up the top here to the east. Before I go any further, if you are looking for a little bit of fun and frolic, uh, TBMO, he's running a Discord server for Australia New Zealand uh, esports guys. We're going to be doing a stream on the 25th, basically outlining uh, tournament play. It's going to be the best of three, and I'm going to be commentating it. So look forward to that, 25th of August, uh, Aussie time. Anyway, here we go. This is pretty funky. Uh, they're up here. The guy that knocked me... Uh, they're up here. I don't want. I was. I was going to go closer and throw that grin, and then uh, thought better of it as he popped into the window because I know he's got an AWM, and I've, already, I've got no helmet anyway. So I'm just being a little bit passive, and this is quite funny because this is. I go from being passive, uh, being really, really super aggressive. Oh, there's a grin come out. Just a random grin into the smoke, and it lands right near me. Ow! Nearly kills me. So I'm like ducking around here. Something else that you might not realize, uh, you can move a little bit when you are med kitting up, uh, left or right, after it gets about halfway towards two thirds. You can you can see me duck around that corner. That's something I don't know if a lot of people realize that. James then goes, just absolutely ham. He pushes in, there's three of them there, and watch this headshot. You ready? The guy comes out and starts brawling positive. This bloke rushes out the door to positive. Watch this headshot. Boom goes the dynamite. Down he goes and positive knocks the last one. Well done, Jimbo. And we get the kill. 15 kills. Rojok Rampage. Hell of a lot of fun. Well done. Marky Mark, TB Ammo, and Positive Waves. Let's have another look at that headshot. Bang! Oh, thank you, mother for the rabbits. Absolutely glorious. Uh, that was wonderful. A lot of fun, a lot of giggles. A really good example, I think, there of solid squad team play. Positive and I combining very well at the end there uh, with a different set of skills. Rambo uh, bunny wearing outfit and long range bomber on the car 98. Thank you very, very much, everyone who's watched uh, the videos, everyone who's subscribed to the videos, everyone who's liked the videos. And until next time, you know, look after yourselves and stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.